Yeah. And good work as ever from the Alton Park Marshals as well, because it's tricky because we've actually got, as we've seen earlier in the race, standard class and GP class bikes mixed up with each other. Quite difficult at times for the Marshals to know who's a lap down and who is not. Put on some laps, Swan, that's the latest lunge I've ever seen, but he didn't get through. This is building up to amazing last lap, and Asher Durham could well take up the pieces here. It's not out of the question Asher Durham standing on the rostrum today. Oh, and look what's happened. Poor old Swan, it was a really ambitious move. Didn't work out, and Dan Jones retakes second place. Durham is now only half a second behind. Durham's not just set his personal best, he's just set the wow. fastest lap of the race so far. Wow. <laughs> well, no great He's having some podium. Through. He's through on Scott Swan, he's used the banking to slow himself down again. He did this yesterday, he did it last year. Asher, Durham on the Mahindra, splits the KTMs, and he's up into third. Oh, I'm so impressed. Brilliant for Cresswell Racing, fantastic. <laughs> Can you imagine he comes through and wins this? It would be absolutely remarkable. He's been well, fourth and distant for a long time, but he's been watching them closely. I couldn't imagine it 10 laps ago, but I can now. Yeah, me too, to be honest with you. Swan having a look, number 45, there he is on the white bike. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Remember, the rider who's leading is Brandon Pash, green and yellow machine, another back marker at the top of the hill. I don't know whether they'll catch that bike before the end of the race or not, but we're coming through to start the final lap now. What a freight train, up to Druids. Dan Jones is definitely gonna have a look, but Brandon Pash is strong in the brakes. <laughs> Jones has a look. Not close enough. Oh, and Durham might try and take advantage. Durham looks behind him. Scott Swan right on the rear wheel. Surely he'll go through because the Mahindra is down on power in comparison with the KTM. Does he go through? Yes, he does. This is where he made the move or tried to on patch last time around. It didn't work out. It does though oh. for the Mahindra. There are more back markers coming up. I think they will catch them before. Yeah, they'll definitely catch them before the end of the race. Scott Swan knows that. He's cleared Durham. He's desperate to be on the rear wheel of Dan Jones. Pash gets down under the bubble. We've got about two thirds of the lap to go now here at Alton Park. Oh, and they're going to catch the back marker at the hairpin, Neil. No, they're going to catch him before the hairpin. Pash goes to the right. Jones goes to the left. He's boxed him behind the back marker. Somehow they all got through. Durham takes Swan and he's back up into third. More lap traffic coming up. More blue flags going out. Oh, my goodness. And that was another fastest lap of the race last time round for Asher Durham, who is the third rider on screen now on the Mahindra. There is a load of the back markers there. Look, all these standard class runners headed by Jody Fieldhouse, number 18. There goes Pash, he's still on the first one. Jones has gone through as well. That's not worked out at all well, though, for Durham. Where on earth do you look? Round the outside goes the race leader. This is not what he needed on the last lap. The red bike is second overall. Then you've got a back marker, then you've got third and fourth. Pash goes to the left, he's past Fieldhouse. Jones goes the other way. Jones is having a look. Oh, I thought he might go at the inside of Drew, he didn't get through. Durham now is up into third on screen. He's third in the race, he's past the back markers. Last corner then, Pash towards us. Can he make it two out of two? Dan Jones goes for the inside. Oh, he's struggling to get it slowed down, he almost touched him. Swan goes through on Durham. He's let Brandon Pash off the hook. He'll make it two out of two. Swan will have a look now for second place. He's not through. Brandon Pash, that was far more complicated than on Sunday. He wins the Bank Holiday Monday race here at Alton Park. Jones, Swan, Durham, second, third, fourth. Now, who's going to get the standard class win? Here we go. Start again. Ogden versus Horseman. Ogden on the right. Horseman right behind him. I don't know which way to look here. Well, I'm still, I'm still trying to get some oxygen from... That's Rodriguez, Rodriguez slowing on the GP class bike. He's out of the race, that's his second on finish then in two days. Second time it's broken down this weekend for Richter Rodriguez, who will get this one? Ogden has the lead, Horseman pulls to the right. No, he's not close enough. Scott Ogden wins in the standard class. So that's one win each. They'll be level on points in the standard class championship. Nobody level on points though in the GP class. Brandon Pash. Asher Durham finally does take the lead on the slowing down lap. <laughs> <laughs> what wow, a race that was. What a race. Brilliant action there. Impossible to call, Neil McKenzie. And that's as close as it gets. Contacting everything at the last corner there. That's as close as it gets and everyone getting away with it. It was pretty yeah. much amazing. I mean, in the last lap, the slower riders or the lap riders 
just added a whole new element. It's incredible. I'm so pleased that everyone got home in one piece. Yeah, me too. And well done, Dan Jones, his first podium on his first weekend. Brandon Pash, though, he's coming from Brooklyn and he's made it two out of two.